very important area. So this is kind of segueing from the main lobby. I mean, it's still part of the main lobby, but it's a little bit separated. People have to wait. Exactly. Hopefully not long, but this Hopefully is not long, but while they're here, let's make it as great of an experience as possible. So this, again, is being reused. We're changing the silhouette of the arm. We're doing a new gorgeous fabric on here. We're softening up the cushions. We're changing out the artwork. The walls. The walls are gonna be, um, they have a new finish. They're, um, we're kind of like mixing these 300 year old um, like butcher blocks. Okay. In between, you know, three million year old petrified wood stumps. So it's kind of this like fun play with like wood and organic. And I think it's really gonna accentuate um, the colors and the feel of the spa and kind of have a nice transition for going into the salon. Perfect. So really? when you first walk into the salon, the space is really, really long and then it's um, broken up within three rooms. You know, you have the hair washing room, you have the salon room, and then you have the pedicure area. And in the corridor itself is where the, all the nail tech stations are. Going into each of the three bays, yes. we're going to line them with that really gorgeous um, kind of distressed damask. It's the one that John immediately was drawn yes. to and knew he had to have yeah. it somewhere. And I think this is the perfect application. So each of the three bays is going to have it. Inside of the bays, we're doing that vinyl grass cloth. Okay. So it's really going to take the abuse of the stylist. You don't have to worry about like... Yeah, there's, there's wall. hair color. There's, exactly. Yep. Um, this is very high traffic. It's super yeah, high traffic. High I couldn't believe how many people are in here on a day. All the mirrors are being replaced. Okay. And then we're giving all the stylists these really beautiful, simple, dark wooden shelves, which are going to allow them to display all their products, not make the counter feel cluttered. It's going to look very, very clean. And moving into where we first started into the, what I call the salon area. The bank cat. This bank cat is being completely replaced. So we're using the existing frame and we're changing the silhouette. We're making the arm a lot more contemporary, more sleek. It's going to be done this really beautiful, kind of like nubby woven material. Okay. And we're clearing out yes. all the artwork and the nails. Yeah. And all the nail polishes are going in a custom lacquer tray, which are hung opposite the nail tech station. Yeah, because they have to have the nail They have to have out the nail because polish. we have to choose what we want. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. No, I think it's beautiful, it's just a change. Oh, so this are the rugs. These are the rugs. So these are the rugs. Oh, the custom rugs. They're amazing. I think they're incredible for this space. And this is going to take care of the noise problem. Well, you know, it's trifold. I mean, look like, at this. Look I got heels on. And yeah, you can't hear, can't, hear can't hear a thing. Beforehand, walking through the hall, like every little like heel you would hear, and you know, it's disruptive to all the other clients. Oh, home. it's just gorgeous. I love it. And then combine with this um, pseudo twig um, chandelier. Which is throughout the whole. Exactly. In the treatment rooms themselves, we um, refinished all the floors. We redid all the walls. We have new custom coverlets on the beds, which are that really beautiful, it's kind of like a flock velvet over a linen. And it does, you know, a color weave from a soft ivory to more of a chocolate, which I think is really beautiful in the room. And so it's just a really nice way to freshen up a space, make it look, um, you know, I think appropriate for what's gonna happen in the treatment rooms. And the cool part about that was is that it happened completely at night. You know, when guests came in the morning, they, had knew no, they didn't know that anything was going on, which is kind of nice that you kind of have that challenge is every morning by 8 a.m. regardless, it has to look like everything's perfect.